All right, back in the bathroom. Expanding foam time under the toilet. Still taking care of this. Finding all the last little bits before we repair all of this. We, uh, we put down this layer is an adhesion primer that's supposed to adhere and create a, a place for paint to grip. So we put it down like four days ago, five days ago? Yeah. Yeah? And uh, we've been letting it sit and cure so it's no longer tacky and the stuff turns into like, I mean, it feels like it's hard as a rock now. Like it's not coming off. So our next step back here, Above the bed, all of this stuff on the back wall is getting a layer of mold and mildew resistant kills so that it, because that had a lot of surface mold and smelled kind of musty. The inside of the closet is getting a layer of kills as well. And then out here on the slide is also getting a layer of kills because we don't want any mold and mildew. And we're going to coat the inside of some of the cabinets and stuff like that. Uh, some of the places that are bad and then still on the list is tackling all the bathroom stuff. I'm in the middle of trying to design a way to get uh, all the gray water from the shower into a separate diversion tank so that it can be filtered and recirculated so we can have a recirculating shower but then also be able to flip a switch and still use it as a normal shower. So that'll be fun. That's gonna be a project. We just keep adding stuff to the list. So it's moving along very slowly. Anybody who's doing an RV remodel that thinks it's going to be done in like two weeks, unless you're just painting cabinets, it's not going to be done in two weeks. No. I keep on thinking of those things on Pinterest where they're like, look at this remodel we did in two weeks for $500. And I'm like, they must have just added some throw pillows and some paint because <laughs> no. <laughs> 500 bucks is like how much we put into paint if you do it correctly. Like the, the primer, it's like 30 bucks a, a gallon and we've used so far, we bought four of those. And then, really? yeah, we bought two gallons of gripper oh. and two gallons of kills. Uh, kills. Yeah. And they're each like 30 bucks a piece. So right there is 120 bucks. And then- Ah, don't do the math, you're freaking me <laughs> out. Somebody asked me, why is the floor stained red? And now we know why, because the shower was leaking. So that's the hard part of the remodel is taking stuff that's existing and fixing it. But the plumbing system is already all plumbed. Yep. It already has a water pump, already has an electrical system. So really we're just fixing stuff, which takes more time because you have to figure out how it was done and then redo it versus just running it yourself. If we were running all this, my, like if I was doing all the electrical, I'd have it done in a day or two. Yeah. And then we'd put the cabinets together and we'd put it all together. But because we're ripping it apart, fixing stuff and then putting it back together, it takes a long time. But it'll be worth it because right now we can't travel anyway because everything is shutting down. Right. So it's a perfect time to do it. And then we'll have a really nice little house on wheels. Yay! So at least that's the hope. It'll be good. Now we have to paint. Now we have to paint. <laughs> malfunction that was but I think we need a uh, we need a break we've been doing this for three weeks straight this really is exhausting we've been working on this this is our third week mm -hmm. and we've been doing at least six days a week there's some days I've come out here on Sunday too but we've been doing Monday through Saturday without 
real breaks, and then on Sunday where we like go through our video footage and all that fun stuff. And it's been exhausting. We might have to slow down a little bit. Maybe. Because Sue's starting to paint her leg. <laughs> Done. Woohoo! Yay! Accomplishments! Almost ready for paint. This is the back behind the shower. We're priming it with kills so that we hopefully block some mildew and mold and stuff like that. It's not going to get painted aside from this primer. We just want a barrier. Hopefully it works. Yay, most of the primer's done. Huzzah! So we're going to give everything that we painted, everything that we bleached, all that stuff, two or three days to cure so that it's nice and hard. This stuff has been sitting for a while and it's adhered really well. So really that's what well. we want for everything. So when we, we want to take, go slow, take our time, and make sure that when we put down paint, we only have to do it once. Yep. We're putting color down today. There's still a lot to be, ooh, oh, I already made a mess. Oh no. Look at how pretty that is. I think that's gonna be a good color. Don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me. All right, here we go. There's the brush. Up on the counter right behind you. Further back, further back, further back, further back, further back, other corner. This is it, no turning back. This is it! <laughs> Seal this up. And away we go. There's our flooring sample. First coat of paint is down. Yay! So. I'm so excited. Finally putting stuff back together. So the upper cabinets are white. The lower ones are watery, and this wall here as well 
and in the back. This looks really good back here. Yay! It's been like eight days of painting. Yeah. A lot of curing, a lot of dry time, and multiple layers. Yep, we wanted everything to dry well because we spent so much time sanding it and prepping it. So. So now the finally. scary part of pulling the tape off. And is seeing coming. what I see what it actually looks like. Well, that and hoping nothing peels oh, off. Oh yeah, because it's been like two weeks. But for now we're gonna let it cure. Yeah. We're gonna let it dry for a while. Cure paint. Cure.